What you cooking, Roach? What ya cooking, Roach? What's up, you guys? And welcome to my channel, What You Cooking, Roach. All right? And for those that are new to my channel, welcome. I really appreciate the love, and I hope you like what I'm doing. And come back and check me out again, all right? Thank you. So, you already know, I'm getting ready to make a glorified beef pot roast, all right? Now, you may say, why is it glorified? Well, I'm going to show you why they call it glorified, all right? Occasionally, there's a cookbook that I like to cook some recipes out of, and it's the National Council of Negro Women. And this is an old sorority group from what I've been reading here in this uh, cookbook um, that collected um, old slave recipes, things like from Nat Turner, um, from Harry Tubman, George Washington Carver, Frederick Douglass, and then there's some assortments of different teachers who pioneered um, us as a people um, to um, acquire knowledge and, and, and become professors and teachers from what I'm gathering. And so there is a particular recipe in here, it's called the glorified beef pot roast. And it's part of one of the teachers that are in, that's in this book, uh, Miss Harriet May Redford. All right, and this is one of her meals that she contributed to one of uh, a, a luncheon slash dinner brunch that they had. Um, and this is one of the recipes. So you already know. Let's get started so I can show you why it's so glorified. Let's go. All right, you guys. You already know. This glorified beef pot roast is not gonna cook itself, okay? So, I'm gonna tell you why they call it the glorified pot roast, okay? I only thing I can see why they call it that is because this particular recipe actually has sweet potatoes in it, okay? Now, I'm not sure why the reasoning behind it, but I'm not mad because um, it's not asking for it to be sweet. So, if you've had sweet potatoes before, um, you know it has a really nice flavor to it, so I'm curious to see what it's going to taste like in it, all right? I'm not sure it's going to be fire, all right? So that's why I think they call this the glorified man. And also, um, we got our, I have two pounds of beef pot roast. Um, we're going to use a beef uh, roast, and then I'm going to season it with sea salt, and I'm going to season it with a little garlic powder. And um, I got some black um, pepper, which the recipe is it, it, called for. Everything that I'm doing is within this recipe here uh, for the glorified roast pot roast. And then uh, baby carrots, well, I'm just going to use, I'm shortcutting and using the baby ones because I like the baby ones. And we got our onion and we got our celery, which the recipe calls for. And um, I have uh, my russet potatoes. Now, in this particular recipe, again, it's from the 1900s. It actually says two Irish potatoes. Now, if someone would tell me where I can find some Irish potatoes, please tell me. But it's want some Irish potatoes, but I got the rust. And maybe that's what was available back then. That's what I'm assuming, all right? So, and then I got my salary. I don't know if I've already said that, okay? Now, it's funny though, in this particular recipe, um, oh, and also I um, have to mention that I'm going to be using a half cup of flour, and that's just kind of when you're, um, it's part of the making it the stew part of it, the gravy part, that, that's what's going to do that, I'm assuming. But one of the things in the cookbook, it says, when you, you know how when you season your meat, well, this says, beat the seasoning into the meat. Now, I'm going to beat the meat, the seasoning in the meat, okay? So that's what I'm getting ready to do, so be right back and I'm going to show you how we're going to beat the meat. All right, y'all. So you already know we get ready to get started here, all right? So we get ready to beat this seasoning into this beef pork. No, I'm sorry, beef uh, chuck roast, all right? <laughs> so this kills me talking about beef. All right, but we're going to beat it. All right, I'm going to put my sea salt on there. Generous amount. Put that on both sides. I would imagine back then, they were, I'm not sure if they were using one of the recipe says salt, so I'm amping it up and using this here, okay? Kosher salt. Alright, put some pepper on there. Some brown pe uh, ground pepper. Again, it's just, it's a normal way that we make our, um, now, now that, you know, now uh, in this era, how we, for quite some time, rather, making a beef uh, roast. 
but that um, sweet potatoes took me, I was interested in it. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And there's, a, there's a lot of cool other recipes in there too. I'm going to be doing some of those recipes in there too. Because with this particular recipe, um, uh, Miss Hattie uh, May Redford um, actually had a soup and she, with it. And then this was the main star of the, the beef pot roast. And then there was a dessert. I can't uh, recall uh, the other two right now, but uh, this was the main course here, all right? So we're gonna put some uh, garlic powder on there. Mm -hmm. Then, I can't wait, I'm excited because we're gonna beat it. <laughs> I'm curious to know what they mean by beat. All right, so I imagine we're just gonna go. Now see, it's mashing. Then I'm getting it all over my chest. Just gonna rub it. Uh, the verbiage was really interesting to me on that one. <laughs> so, I'm going to let that sit here for a hot second and marinate. I got my Dutch oven pot already cooking with, um, warming up, heating up with some olive oil. All right, so I'm going to go over there. And, uh... Okay, y'all. So, we have to uh, sear our... Um, Beef uh, roast on each side, kind of give it, you know, about a minute on each side, all right? So I'm gonna do that. Put that in here. I'm gonna stir it in our Dutch oven pot. And like I said, you know, you wanna give it a nice little brown on each side. And then um, once we've done that, and then we're gonna add in three cups of water. And um, then we're gonna let it cook in the oven at uh, a temperature of 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. And um, once we've done that, we're gonna add in our vegetables, like it's what, uh, we're gonna add in our celery. This will be about two stalks of um, celery, um, cut maybe into a half an inch sizes. That's the way I prefer mine when I do my stew. Uh, when we do this beef on uh, top roast there. And, um, your onion and your potatoes and that sweet potato that's making it glorified. <laughs> and then we'll cook that for another 30 minutes. Basically into tenderness, you know, depending on which, which the oven, how your oven works and, um, and what type of um, pot you have. Not everybody has a Dutch oven pot, you know. I don't necessarily have to cook it in, in a Dutch oven, but they've been around for centuries, I apparently, since the end of the cookbook, it mentions that, you know, so I'm sure it was like a big cast iron with a nice little top on it, and actually, they didn't even, in the recipe, it wasn't even talking about putting it in the oven, they were talking about putting it over a low heat, um, wood burning type of stove, and then they would say, it said that they would start in the morning, and have cooking all day, and then by the time the evening time came, when everyone come home from off the farm or, or picking cotton, um, the dinner would be ready then. But um, heck, I agree with it cooking it all day. Absolutely. All right, so y'all see what we're doing there. So I'm gonna get brown on that side there. All right. Let me go get some water now. Water. I'm going to just use one cup of water because I'm going to cheat. And use chicken broth. It's not really cheating, you know. You need that extra flavor. Okay. Don't add that in there. Then we're gonna actually be adding in three cups of liquid. So I got two cups of chick, uh, sorry, beef broth and one cup of uh, water. Okay, so we'll add that in there. Like so. And this is a thicker type of uh, broth, so. Right. 
gonna stir that up. And like I said, we're gonna let it cook about 45 minutes or so before we add in our vegetables. The normal cooking time for this particular dish is at least two hours. And um, it's gonna be nice and tender, it's gonna be delicious. I'm really curious to see what it's like with these um, with the sweet potatoes in there, all right? Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna let that do its thing for about 45 minutes, and in the meantime, I'll be cutting up the vegetables to go with it, and then I'm gonna sit down and have me a cocktail. You already know, all right? All right, y'all. This glorified beef roast is ready. All right? Now, I've already sampled a little bit of it because I couldn't help it, but I think we own something with this um, sweet potatoes. All right? Hmm. I think part of it was, was what they had around at that time. It's actually pretty good. All right? And also, I'm going to be making some more recipes out of this book because there are some very interesting recipes out in the hill and uh, of the national, closer to the coalitions of na uh, African women. It says Negro. On my birth certificate, it says Negro. That's who I am on my birth certificate. But these recipes reflect our black women and our history. And I actually came across also in this book a, um, a Creole uh, gumbo that actually has chillings in it. I'm, can you imagine that chillings, right? I'm, I ain't had chillings in a minute and I'm willing to even try uh, doing this recipe. And I think it will. It's from the United Beauty School Owners of Teachers Association. And it organized and started because of Madam C.J. Walker. Well, she was early in the 1900s and this started in 1945, all right? And this is one of the recipes that they contribute to this particular archive. 
And also, there's a glorified shrimp too. And I'm gonna do that too, cause you know, I see I do a glorified um, beef roast here. So, and that's also by um, a teacher, uh, Marjo Stewart Joyner. And like I said, this book is very interesting. And I'm gonna be doing some recipes out of these and teaching and learning myself the history of my ancestors and, and their cooking skills, all right? So, for those who are new, again, Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, give me a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Same from the people who have subscribed to my channel. As you know, always, what you cooking about.